Jocelyn Champagnat, our founder, our saint. Life in France in 1789 was horrible. There was fighting and many people were forced to flee their homes. There was a serious class division. Those with money led a comfortable lifestyle, whilst the poor struggled daily. There were plans by people to kill the king. It was the beginning of the French Revolution. This was the world Marston spent his early childhood surrounded by. The ninth of ten children, Marcelin Joseph Benedict Champagnat, was born on the 20th of May 1789 in Rosé, a little hamlet in Marles, France. Marcelin's father, his wife and aunt ensured that Marcelin grew up with a basic education, a strong faith and a pure heart. Marcelin's first day of school was unforgettable. Because of the revolution in France, Marcelin did not get to go to school until he was 11 years old. Marcelin was expecting school to be like his home, where there was care, respect and love. He was therefore shocked when a student who answered a question meant for him was hit by the teacher. Marcelin had grown up being taught to love and care for others by his mother and Aunt Louise, who was very religious. The Champagnats knew the value of love and cared for each other. Marcelin returned home from school, shocked by what he had witnessed. He told his parents of the incident and refused to return to school. He explained that he would rather stay home and look after the sheep than return. He decided to become a priest and join the seminary. This was a big call, but Marcelin's faith told him it was the right thing to do. Marcelin faced great challenges, reading and writing. He worked so hard to overcome these challenges. He made mistakes and often got frustrated, but he learned very quickly. Marcelin had great connection with Mary, our mother, and placed his challenges with her to help solve them. He focused on his goal of being a priest great persistence. Marcelin's family gave him great support to get through the seminary as he thought about giving up. Marcelin gave his best in any situation to support others and get through his challenges. Despite little money and little interest, Marcelin forged ahead with his idea of forming a society of priests devoted to Mary. On the 22nd of July, 1816, the Society of Mary began. Marcelin was sent to Lavala as curate. He visited the people, taught the children, helped the poor, and helped families to live a Christian life. As part of his duties, he visited a dying young man. Marcelin was devastated that the boy had not been given the opportunities to learn about God or to have an education. We must have brothers, he declared, and pushed ahead to strengthen his dream. Marcelin said, I want to teach young people about God and Mary, our mother, and also to read and write. I'm going to start a group of brothers called the Little Brothers of Mary, or the Maris Brothers. I know that it will take a lot of hard work, but I have a great belief that Mary, our mother, will assist in all that we do in order to achieve my dream. Marcelin borrowed money to buy a house in Lavala and he fixed it up with his first Maris brothers. The brothers made nails to sell in order to make money. 
constructed La Hermitage. Marston set up schools for the education of the young. Learning was academic and spiritual. He never stopped making things better for his brothers and their communities. He kept working on his dream. Marcelin went out to visit a sick brother in an isolated spot. The snowstorm became so bad that Marcelin and his brother got lost with the little hope of survival. They prayed the Memorare. A farmer who did not usually check on his animals went outside with the light. They saw his light. Marcelin was saved by his great faith in Mary. Soldiers were sent to Le Hermitage. This was because in France, at this time, religious beliefs and orders were not considered to be a positive part of life to those in power. Marcelin welcomed the soldiers and showed hospitality to them. He placed his faith in Mary's assistance because he had prayed to her and this was the solution that came to him from his prayers. Marcelin's persistence, love of hard work and strong faith saw his community grow in love and faith throughout his life. Having worked so hard for so long, at the age of 51, Marcelin Champagne died. There were 280 brothers at this time to carry on Marcelin's dream. Marcelin left the brothers five principles to live by. Marcelin had used these five principles all his life. These five principles were simplicity, in the way of Mary, love of hard work, family and community spirit, and presence. These are the five principles we aspire to today. Marcelin's legacy and inspiration thrive globally today. There are now 500,000 kids in Mara schools around the world. There are 40,000 lay persons and 4,500 brothers. Mara's missions are numerous. Marcelin's spirit and dream is alive and well on planet Earth. Marcelin continues to be loved today as he was 200 years ago. Together we follow Marcelin's path and live in the way of Mary and St. Marston Champagnard.